up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is the first trip of TDY out of Miami and we are flying Miami to Houston. Nothing lovely, nothing sexy, but it'll be a beautiful day to fly. I got a phenomenal crew, got a flight attendant who's working on his rating, so that's awesome. I've already got to talk to him a little bit, so yeah, it's fun. Uh, first trip, like I said, out of Miami, so is my, uh, I kind of deadheaded in here to start my, my two day trip got two two days back to back so I'll overnight Miami uh, tomorrow night and then we'll start my next two day which has a layover in LaGuardia so I'll actually get to go home for that layover so I'll sit back relax and enjoy the video just landed in Houston Texas uh, this is a nice flight it's two hours and 31 minutes in the air 34,000 feet it was smooth it was nice a little windy coming in here but uh, overall solid flight just one leg today three legs tomorrow. I haven't flown three legs in so long. We go back to Miami and then do an Atlanta turn. And then I'm in Miami for the night before I start my second two day trip. So I was in the middle of getting ready and my phone dinged on me and I saw that our inbound flight is delayed. So we're going to be about 55 minutes delayed getting out of Houston this morning. It is uh, approaching 11 o'clock and the flight isn't going to be here until 1145. So we're gonna be about 55 minutes getting out of Houston and hopefully we can make up a little bit of time going into Miami and then we've got an Atlanta turn afterwards, which I haven't done an Atlanta turn or flown into Atlanta since the regional day. So it's been it's been four or five years. And uh, yeah, I, I never thought that I would be flying this kind of domestic flying transferring down to Miami for the month of March, but I stupidly forgot that I don't have a Latin terrain qualification. So I have a Latin America qual, but I don't have a LT qual. And that exempts me from being able to fly into the places that I really was excited to fly into for the month of March out of Miami, which is like Medellin. I've always wanted to fly into Colombia. So I wanted to do some flying like that. But unfortunately, you know, that's just that's just the way it is. I forgot that I had didn't have my uh, LT qual and you know, it is what it is. So since I have a, a bunch of extra time here and we're staying here at the airport, so I'm just gonna walk over to the gate and the flight won't be here for another 45 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of set up my iPad, what it looks like. That way I have my iPad all set up. We can get into the aircraft, the cleaners can get on board. We can do our pre-flight checks, board up and get out of there and hopefully get the passengers there as close to on time as possible. It looks like they pushed off the gate a little bit late and then air traffic control, um, I guess, delayed them on the ground. Maybe Miami was super busy on this Sunday afternoon, who knows? But I'll show you guys, uh, we use something called JEP FD Pro, which most of the airlines here in the US do. It's a phenomenal app. It's got so much information in it and uh, I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. So before I show you guys this app, we do have a completely different app that is company specific, which gives us our flight plan, which in that flight plan will be individualized with that aircraft, the loads, which means all the passengers, the cargo, the fuel, the flight plan will be in there, all the winds, the NOTAMs, you name it, all the aircraft performance, it'll all be in there. And that's on our flight release, but I won't bore you guys with all that analytical data. I'll show you guys just kind of a basic overview of what it looks like within Jeff FD Pro, which I said has so much information. It's, it's a phenomenal app. The company has integrated this very well with their information and with what Jeff FD also offers. Um, so we come in here and we import our flight here, which is really nice. It's a real easy, super straightforward uh, flight plan here today. It looks like we're doing the mugs four out of here and then we're gonna be doing the frogs arrival into Miami. And this is basically the way that we came into Houston last night. We went across the Gulf south of the Panhandle. I see that the flight coming in here, I pulled up their flight plan. They're actually going further north up into the Panhandle. So we'll fly across the Gulf here. We'll jump over, where is this? Fort Myers area and then Fort Myers will join the frogs arrival. So I like to come in here and since we're doing the mugs, I'll go ahead and pull this sit up. Let's see, where is the mugs for? So we'll pull up the mugs for arrival. We'll have that saved in there. This is stuff that I like to go ahead and overview. It looks like the initial climb will climb up to 16,000 feet coming out of here. And then I'll go ahead and jump over to Miami 
and select the frogs for arrival as well. So as you can see, this is, uh, if you're working on your instrument rating, you're starting to see these a little more, of course with the airlines, they might be a little bit more complex, but we have a bunch of restrictions flying into Miami on this arrival here. So I'll go back to Houston and I'll just review the weather. I'll pull up the digital ATIS, which is so nice to have on board the airplane. This is something that we can pull up. Looks like a new ATIS will be coming out here soon. It's expired, but looks like the winds are, are pretty straightforward. 3108. It's beautiful. As I can see looking outside, it's a nice day as well. So yeah, these are just some of the things that I like to review. I like to go ahead and get the weather all set up on here, try and find a really nice altitude that coincides with what the dispatch has also filed. And uh, me and the captain obviously will talk back and forth and try and find the smoothest flight that's uh, the most comfortable for the passenger. So that's some like super basic overview. Of course, going through the flight plan takes a little bit of time to make sure everything is legal, which uh, basically 10 out of 10 times it always is when it comes to uh, legal alternates, so on and so forth. But you know, us as the pilots, the dispatch files it and then we review it and we agree and we sign it and then we bounce out of there. So it'll be a nice flight, hopefully it looks like there's not much turbulence flying across the Gulf into Miami and then hopefully we don't get any pop-up storms. And then we can turn around in Miami, it'll be a super quick turn, do the Atlanta turn and then we'll be back in Miami around at 10.30 p.m. That's what we're hoping for. Hopefully we don't run into any hiccups. You know how South Florida can be with pop-up thunderstorms this time of year, it's starting to get warm. A lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of pop-up storms and stuff. So. Hopefully it'll be a nice, easy day two. And this is actually the end of this two day trip. I'll buy a hotel in Miami tonight and then I'll start a two day trip tomorrow, which I'm excited. I'll bring you guys along with, and it's actually overnighting up in New York. So I'll be going home for 19 hours. Well, uh, I'm done a lot sooner than anticipated, which is nice. We got delayed a lot and they ended up taking the Atlanta turn off of us and they sent in a reserve crew to take care of that because we were going to be delayed essentially two hours. And that's just, you know, that's the whole point of reserves. And that's why they have reserves is to keep the operation going, keep the people moving, get everyone to their destination. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what happened today. I know in the previous clip that I was looking at the route that was originally designed and we were supposed to go through the Gulf a little bit, but I didn't pull the radar up. And after I did that clip, I actually went down to the lobby, sat there for a few and then pulled the radar up. And there was a giant storm, which I'll show on the screen right now. There was a giant storm and they actually had filed another flight plan that took us way up north around Birmingham, Alabama, and then down. So the flight plan actually was supposed to be originally an hour and 34 minutes, and ended up being two hours and 26 minutes. So another hour longer up in the air, which, uh, which is a lot. So it caused us being delayed even more on our arrival into Miami. So they ended up taking that turn away. And now we're in Miami a lot sooner, or like four or five hours sooner than originally anticipated, which is nice. I just checked in, um, you know, I had to get this hotel room because technically I'm based in Miami for the month of, uh, for the month of March. So I got this hotel for myself. And when you do these TDYs, some companies will provide a hotel for the entire month. Some companies will give you a voucher. So I just checked in, got a, uh, a nice little view of downtown Miami. I decided to get a hotel in Brickell, nothing fancy. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. I just want to be a brickle because the Equinox gym is here, tons of food, great restaurants. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, it's great. I've got an extra four or five hours. I'm actually going to get a workout in today, which I didn't originally anticipate doing. So I might go for a run or I might just head to Equinox. And then I don't report until 11 o'clock tomorrow. So that's super nice as well. I'll be able to get a lift in and go get some good breakfast around here. So I will see you guys in the morning. Uh, the start of the second two-day trip, and then uh, we end up overnighting in Newark, and I will take the path from Penn Station, or maybe it's not the path, I don't know, I have to look. I've never actually come from Penn Station down to my house, so 
I'll overnight in uh, in Newark and it's a 20 hour layer, 19 or 20 hour layover. So it'd be nice to go home for the night on a, uh, on a layover. Made it to the Equinox here in Brickell. I've never been to this one. They have two Equinoxes here in Miami or Brickell area here in Miami. And I like this one a lot. It's pretty empty as you guys can see. It might just because it's Sunday night, but check out this view. Pretty sick view. Um, I'm gonna finish this workout and go for maybe like a two mile run, a light run, because it feels so good outside. And uh, even though the weather's starting to get good in New York. And then, uh, yeah, enjoy the weather and then just kind of hang out, get some good food around here since we're staying in Brickell, lots of good food around, and uh, get some good sleep, and then we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Workout is done. Got my smoothie to start the day, and uh, it'll be, let's see, I fly here to Cancun, so Miami, Cancun, back to Miami, and then up to Newark. It's gonna be a long day, but we'll end up in our own bed tonight, hopefully. Fingers crossed, everything goes as planned. And then uh, we'll wake up and have the first half of the day in the city. I don't think we depart out of Newark until like 6 p.m., so that'll be nice. Then uh, overnight back in Miami, and then I'm so excited to bring you guys along on the next uh, video. We're gonna be back flying the Bonanza. I'm pumped. Ah, it's time, finally. We have Bella back in our life and we are back with the Bonanza. I'm excited. I just did uh, the first flight from Raleigh to Asheboro with Miss Bell here, she did really good. It was a little bumpy getting out of Raleigh, but up at Cruise, it was it was excellent. So I'm gonna wrap the work vlog up here. Get ready for this video, because it's gonna be awesome. Tomorrow we're flying a brand new airplane. It's a jet, and I'm excited for it. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.